The liver carries out many vital functions, including nutrient metabolism carried out by specialized cells called hepatocytes. For example, when excess glucose is present within the hepatocyte, it can be transformed into fatty acids, known as de novo synthesis. Hepatocytes are also key regulators of lipid metabolism. They take up fatty acids from blood and assemble them with glycerol to produce triglycerides. Lifestyle habits, such as a chronically unhealthy diet and a lack of physical activity, can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver, or NAFL with isolated steatosis, defined as an abnormal accumulation of fat in the hepatocytes. Individuals with associated metabolic disorders, such as insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and obesity, are particularly at high risk to progress to a pathological state called non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH. In people with NASH, liver homeostasis is impaired due to accumulation of toxic lipids. Certain gut bacteria-derived products can also penetrate in the liver, where they activate immune responses. This contributes to local inflammation of hepatic tissue. This pathological environment provokes hepatocyte damage and leads to a state called ballooning. Steatosis, inflammation, and ballooning are the three lesions that define NASH histologically. Hepatocyte suffering, apoptosis, as well as inflammation lead to the release of signaling molecules that contribute to hepatic stellate cells activation. As a result of this activation, hepatic stellate cells secrete collagen fibers that form scar tissue, leading to hepatic fibrosis. NASH can evolve to cirrhosis or hepatocellular carcinoma, but it is much more than just a liver disease. It also increases the risk of life-threatening cardiovascular events in association with the proatherogenic lipid profile of NASH patients. A significant proportion of adults are affected by NASH globally in association with the rising prevalence of diabetes and obesity. By 2020, it is predicted that NASH will become the leading cause of liver transplantation. In the face of this growing silent epidemic, there is an urgent need to develop innovative treatments that can target the many different aspects of NASH pathology. 